to the ice, Meryl Davis and Charlie White. However, that final couple is the reigning world champions, five-time reigning U.S. champions, Meryl Davis and Charlie White. And the great, greatest part about this program is just all of the nuances and all of the finite details from their fingertips to their head positions. They're really trying to maximize the potential of this program. soft knees so far. It's a real challenge to have that soft knee action and yet that steady carriage in the upper body that these two do so well. mentioned the head and the variation the arm positions these two are one of the only ones in the competition to continue to keep the character of their dance throughout this difficult pattern dance element surprise a standing ovation for the world champions Merrill Davis and Charlie White and you get the feeling they could have danced all night the crowd <laughs> could have watched all night and everyone would have been happy I definitely would have been happy to see more of that myself you know last season with their phenomenal Giselle short dance Meryl really stood out to me with her ability to turn and move so quickly with light feet across the ice while maintaining the speed. And again, I'm just always so astounded by her ability to move so lightly and so elegantly across the ice. That coupled with Charlie's ease and power, they just make such a both powerful and delicate duo. We'll take a look first at the midline no touch sequence. Such nice unison and spacing and a lot more detail throughout this. And this is one of the elements that they'll continue to work on throughout the season just to ensure that they have the best command over each and every edge. Again, it only takes one loss of edge to drop to a level three, a slightly shaky edge to drop to a four. But this was just so well done and again the detail and the spacing it's these kinds of things that make them world champions 
Some of it's hard to grasp and some of it's easy to see. Now we're looking at the second half of the fin step again. The, the detail in the head, it only exaggerates the timing and the fact that they are so on top of the beat. We talk a lot in dance, especially with fast tempos, about being on top of the beat. And if you imagine a beat as being a, a measure, you really want to make sure they're at the front of that beat and these two are right on top of that timing the entire way through. And this is one of the elements that's been changed since their last event in Salt Lake City, the final lift with a change of position. And I want to point out how difficult it is for Charlie to turn while maintaining Merrill's leg across his lap. We very rarely see the men having to deal with that obstacle. I would take a look at their mothers, Cheryl and Jackie. Must be so proud and happy. Absolutely. So a 75.70 for the world champions in their short dance. Davis and White in the United States. Right to the top of the leaderboard. First place by about six points ahead of Capolini and Lanate of Italy. However, that does mean that all three U.S. couples will be in the final group tomorrow in the free dance. As we take